Welcome to the secret world of slugs and snails, nature's slowpokes. These fascinating creatures are everywhere from gardens to forests and even city sidewalks after rain. Slugs and snails belong to a family called gastropods which means stomach foot because they glide on their bellies. They may be small and slimy but they're full of surprises. Did you know they've been around since the time of dinosaurs? That's true survivor status. You'll find them on every continent except Antarctica. Despite their slow pace they play a huge role in our ecosystem. Today, we'll uncover what makes slugs and snails unique, how they move, what they eat, and why they matter. Some snails can even sleep for three years, imagine that nap. They're more than just garden visitors, they're vital to the web of life. So grab your explorer hat and get ready to see these slow-moving wonders in a whole new light. We'll discover their secrets, from their quirky habits to their amazing survival skills. By the end, you'll appreciate why being slow and steady is sometimes the best way to live. Let's dive in and meet the champions of the slow lane. Whether you spot them on a rainy day or hiding under leaves, remember, they have an important story to tell. They show us that every creature, no matter how small, has a place in nature. Ready for an adventure? Let's go! We're about to explore the incredible world of gastropods. Get set to be amazed by the slowest superstars in the animal kingdom. Let's start our journey. The biggest difference between a slug and a snail? The shell. Snails carry a hard spiral shell on their back, a built-in mobile home made of calcium carbonate. This shell grows with them and is attached for life. Slugs, on the other hand, ditch the shell for a more flexible lifestyle. Some slugs have a tiny hidden shell but you usually can't see it. Without a bulky shell, slugs can squeeze into tight spaces and explore places snails can't reach. This flexibility helps them find food and hide from danger, but there's a trade-off. No shell means slugs are more exposed to predators and drying out. Snails have a fortress for protection, while slugs rely on stealth and agility. Why did slugs lose their shells? Scientists think it helped them survive in places with less calcium and more hiding spots. When you see a creature with a swirly shell, it's a snail. If it's just a slimy body, it's a slug. This one difference shapes how they live, move, and survive. Snails chose security, slugs chose freedom. Both are clever solutions to life's challenges. Nature always finds a way, sometimes with armor, sometimes with flexibility. Next time you spot one, look for the shell and think about the life it leads. Whether armored or agile, both are masters of the slow lane. It's a simple difference with a big impact. That's the magic of evolution in action. Pretty cool, right? Let's see what else sets them apart and what brings them together. Onward. Let's zoom in on their bodies. Snails are built to carry their heavy shell, making them bulkier and less flexible. Their shape is all about balance and strength. Imagine doing gymnastics with a backpack. Slugs, without a shell, are long, slender, and super flexible. They can stretch out or squish down to fit into tiny spaces. This flexibility is a huge advantage for hiding and exploring. When it comes to speed, neither is fast, but slugs are usually a bit quicker since they don't have a shell to lug around. Still, both are famous for their slow, careful movement. Why so slow? It saves energy and helps them avoid predators by blending in. Their slow pace means they don't need to eat as much as faster animals. Whether it's the sturdy snail or the streamlined slug, their bodies are perfectly designed for a slow, steady life. They show us that you don't have to rush to survive. Taking your time can be the smartest way to live. Their unique shapes help them thrive in their own way. Each is a specialist in the art of slow living. So next time you see one, remember, slow and steady really does win the race. Their bodies are a masterclass in adaptation. Built for survival, built for the slow lane. That's the secret to their success. Let's keep exploring what makes them tick. There's more to these slow pokes than meets the eye. Ready for the next surprise? Let's go. On to their family resemblance. Despite their differences, slugs and snails are close cousins. Both have a soft, muscular foot that lets them glide along surfaces. This foot is their secret to smooth, steady movement. On their heads you'll spot two pairs of tentacles, four in total. The longer upper pair has eyes at the tips for sensing light and dark. The shorter lower pair is for smelling and feeling their way around. These tentacles help them find food and stay safe. Inside their mouth is a radula a tiny toothy tongue for scraping up food. It's like a built-in file, perfect for munching leaves. Both slugs and snails share these features, showing their family connection. They're both gastropods, through and through. 
Next time you see one look for the tentacles and imagine that powerful foot gliding along. Their similarities reveal their shared history. Even with their differences they're part of the same amazing family. Nature loves a good remix. Shell or no shell the basics stay the same. These shared traits help them survive in a world full of challenges. Cousins in the animal kingdom, united by their unique design. That's the beauty of evolution. Let's see what's on the menu for these fascinating creatures. Time for dinner. What do slugs and snails eat? Mostly plants. They love tender leaves, fruits, and even decaying plant matter. This makes them important decomposers, recycling nutrients back into the soil. Their radula, a ribbon of tiny teeth, scrapes up food, leaving telltale trails and holes in leaves. Some species are fierce predators eating worms, other snails or insect eggs. Others are omnivores, munching on whatever they find. Their flexible diet helps them survive in many environments. Whether cleaning up the garden or hunting tiny prey, they play a key role in their ecosystem. Their eating habits keep nature's cycle going. So next time you see a chewed leaf, remember, it's part of the natural cleanup crew at work. From fresh greens to rotting logs, their menu is diverse. That's one reason they're found all over the world. Adaptable eaters, always making the most of what's around. Even slow pokes need a good meal. Let's find out where they like to dine and hide. On to their homes. Slugs and snails are experts at finding damp, cozy homes. They need moisture to survive, dry out, and they're in trouble. You'll find them under rocks, logs, in thick grass or shady garden corners. Gardens are paradise-moist soil, leafy shelters, and plenty to eat. That's why gardeners both love and battle them. Some snails have adapted to deserts, sealing their shells with dried mucus to survive long, dry spells. Others live in ponds, rivers, or even the ocean. Their secret? Adaptability. Whether in forests, fields, deserts, or underwater, they find ways to thrive. Next time it rains, look for them exploring. Rainy days are their favorite. Their homes are as varied as their diets. From lush forests to sandy deserts, they're everywhere. Survival is all about finding the perfect spot. Now let's see how they move in their world. How do slugs and snails move without legs? It's all about slime. Their muscular foot glides on a layer of mucus, reducing friction and letting them slide smoothly. They create rippling waves of muscle to inch forward like a slow motion dance. The slime isn't just for movement, it helps them climb, stick to surfaces, and even protects them from sharp objects. Slime trails also act as roadmaps, helping them find their way home or communicate with others. Producing slime takes energy and water so they stick to damp places. In dry weather they hide away to conserve moisture. That shiny trail on the sidewalk? It's a marvel of nature's engineering. Slime is their secret weapon for movement, safety, and social life. It's more than just goo, it's survival. Every step leaves a story behind. The slow dance of the gastropod is a wonder to watch. Let's see how they defend themselves in a world full of danger. Life's tough when you're small and slow, but slugs and snails have clever defenses. Snails retreat into their hard shells, a fortress against many predators. Slugs use camouflage, blending into soil and leaves to stay hidden. Their flexible bodies let them squeeze into tiny, safe spaces. Slime makes them slippery and hard to grab. Some even produce sticky or bad-tasting mucus to deter attackers. A few slugs can detach their tails to escape, then regrow them later. Whether it's armor, hiding, or chemical tricks, these slowpokes are survival experts. Every defense is a smart adaptation to a dangerous world. They may be slow, but they're never helpless. Now let's uncover some amazing facts and why we need these creatures. Did you know slugs and snails can regrow lost tentacles? That's resilience. Their eyes, perched on tentacle tips, let them peek over obstacles for safety. Most are hermaphrodites, having both male and female organs, so any meeting can lead to new life. This boosts their chances of survival even when they're slow movers. They're vital to the food web, feeding birds, beetles, and more. As recyclers, they break down dead plants and return nutrients to the soil. Without them, ecosystems would struggle to stay balanced. Next time you see a slug or snail, remember, they're survivors, recyclers, and key players in nature. Every creature, no matter how small or slow, has a purpose. Slugs and snails are proof that slow and steady can be truly amazing. Appreciate their role in the world. They're nature's unsung heroes. What an adventure we've had. Thanks for joining the journey into the world of gastropods.